So I kind of threw a lot of shade at Doc Martin boots in my why I hate Doc Martin boots video. And so instead of just complaining about something and not doing anything about it, I bought a used pair of Doc Martin boots and I'm gonna try to upgrade them and resole them and make them a better boot. So the four things that I don't like about Docs and the four things we're gonna try to fix is they don't have a shank. They're really not waterproof at all. Um, the felted midsole is really thin, basically useless, and they can't really be resold that easily. So I'm going to attempt to fix all those issues and um, at the end of the video, we'll kind of review them and see if I was successful. Now let's look at the boots that we're gonna be resoling and kind of get an idea of what they look like before and the condition. So the leather is pretty beat up. These were only 30 bucks on eBay. I wish they were in a little better shape, but the outsole's pretty much worn through in one spot. The stitching's pretty rough. The leather's all cracked, and there's not much we can do about the leather, but this is kind of our starting point to give you a point of reference. So now let's do the resole and uh, see how it goes. What?
That took me so much longer than I thought it was gonna take. Usually I can get two videos out a week, but this literally took me all the spare time I had. So I'm glad this is done and I'm really happy with how they turned out. I think I still have that Doc Martin look. I was able to use the yellow stitching to give it that iconic contrast. You can kind of see the difference here. I was able to shine up the leather and kind of condition it and hopefully rejuvenate it to some extent. I wasn't able to get rid of all the cracking in it, but I think they look significantly better and I think they're an improved boot. So let's go over those four things and we'll talk about if I was able to fix those four problems. So the first problem, uh, these don't have a shank. So instead of installing a shank, I just used a wedge sole, which doesn't really need a shank because you've got the support through here. And surprisingly, these had a shank in them to begin with, which was really interesting. They must have been an older pair of the Made in England Doc Martens when they used to use shanks. So that was kind of an interesting turn of events, but wedge sole solved that problem either way. The next thing was that they're not very waterproof. So the I didn't know where to buy a storm welt online. So I just ended up making my own and I was able to contact cement that little flap to the boot to not only cover that that crease from the old well, but also to give it some more waterproofness, if that's a word. <laughs> and then the third problem was the crappy felted midsole. So we put a cork midsole in here. It's gonna break into my foot really nicely and leave that impression so it makes it more comfortable and just kind of an upgrade from a felted material. And finally, the last thing that we fixed, we made them resolable. So I put that extra layer of leather in the midsole so that whenever this sole wears out, this Christie Vibram sole, all I have to do is pull that off and just glue a new one on and it's a lot simpler than trying to take this one to somebody who knows how to resole Doc Martens and hope that it turns out well. So I think we solved all the four problems. I'm happy with it and I'm not a professional cobbler. This is the very first time I've ever resold a boot. So I'm gonna wear them as is just to make sure this stays together and I don't have a complete failure and meltdown after reselling both of these because it took so long. So I'll kind of post an update in the stories of YouTube or whatever, or maybe in a future video, I'll talk about if they're going well or if they've completely um, imploded. And if you're going to attempt this yourself, keep that in mind that it's my first time reselling a pair of boots and this isn't necessarily a tutorial, but I will list all the tools um, and where I got them that I use in this video, just in case you're going to attempt it yourself. And on that note, in preparation for this video, I watched two YouTube channels that I learned everything and all the things that I applied and implemented in this video. One was Brian the Bootmaker, and the second channel was Trenton and Heath. Those guys are probably the nicest guys in the world, both Brian the Bootmaker and Trenton and Heath. So head over to their channel if you wanna see someone actually fixing boots and shoes instead of just destroying them all the time, and uh, subscribe to them and leave a comment in their comment section and let them know that I sent you there because they're really cool guys. And um, let me know what you thought of this video, what I can do to improve it. It's kind of a different style from what I'm usually doing on this channel. So I appreciate your guys' input. And also if you're a cobbler and you got some tips and tricks and pointers or soft critiques for me, I'd love to hear those too. And I'm still working on the Patreon. It should be up soon. 100,000 subscriber videos coming up. I just ordered the thousand dollar pair of Jordans last night and it hurt real bad. It's gonna hurt even worse to cut them in half. But um, yeah, shout out to those eight patrons that supported me without even having a reward. RNFP, Artem K, Brandon M, Chris M, James H, Raymond N, Reese A, and Tyler T. Thank you guys so much for all your support and helping fund these boot videos. It makes a huge difference. Thanks, see ya.